So my baby's room, who's 11 months old, has um, white everywhere in her bedroom, bar these drawers. So I'm going to show you how to upcycle these drawers using chalk paint. So the first thing I need to do is just check to make sure that the drawers are not real obvious lumps and bumps um, just so that when I paint I don't see it because I'm going to paint it white and pink um, for my daughter's room it will come up if it is actually um, bruised and things or got lumps in and bumps or been scratched loads so just need to make sure it's nice and smooth take off the handles and then we will start with the knotting solution <laughs> an undercoat on um, and all these things but I really like to make sure it's done properly it's so important because otherwise I'm just gonna go back on myself and do stuff and I really don't want to do that so my next step after I sand it down and I'm happy with no lumps and bumps is I need to get my sugar soap and I need to spray it all down and make sure it's all clean before I start to use the knotting solution <music> I don't want to paint the whole drawers, that would just be a waste of time because um, you just don't really need to. The most important thing I really do think um, to furniture and putting furniture on is knotting solution. So basically, in wood, you have knots in them and most of the time, if you paint them, you'll start, um, just without knotting solution, you'll start seeing zap and things leaking through. It's just the way wood is. Um, and that's because you haven't treated it with knotting solution. So it basically seals it. Um, undercoat and primer don't really seal knot it, knots in the um, wood. They don't at all and it will just leak through and then you'll be questioning what you've done wrong and why it's happening. So I know that um, a lot of people don't know about this and I don't know why that we don't talk about it as um, people that upcycle and decorate and things like that. But honestly, um, professional painters and things like that will always use knotting solution on wood um, and make sure that they cover up um, all the knots in that wood before they paint it just so that it's all done and perfect so yeah definitely use it I love it it's amazing um, years ago I didn't know anything about it and a couple of weeks to a few months down the line um, I'd get these little brownie yellow rings coming up through the paint um, and I was really distraught I was like what have I done wrong and it's just because I didn't apply this so I had to take it all back to wood and redo it <laughs> Um, now it's all dry is to use Dulux primer and undercoat um, just before I use the chalk based paint and I know everybody's like oh no just put the chalk paint on I like to just seal it with primer and undercoat just so I know that it's all good to go can add the first chalk paint. P120 just to make sure that it's nice and smooth on the um, dried primer and undercoat before I apply my chalk white paint. So 
So the paint I'm using is Rust-Oleum and it's chalk white. starting to paint it um, with a paintbrush but I've decided to exact same stick with the china rose but in spray so all I'm doing now is using the rustoleum china rose on the little ball feet of the drawers just to make sure that there's a lot of pink involved as well and I'm going to paint that on using the little tin I have. I actually am starting to love it and the little legs have the little pink, the China Rose pink um, Rust-Oleum paint on and they look so cute. So now all I need to do is put the knobs back onto the drawer. Do some stencils with maybe a little bit of glitter. Um, I'll probably be using Rust-Oleum glitter um, and the China Rose paint. Um, just to give it a nice feel to it, especially for my 11 month old baby's room. So yeah, it's going to be so cute. Rustoleum stencils. They look really cute. So the star one looks really cute. And we've got little crowns. We've got the castle. And you've got a big crown. So I think I'm just gonna spray the whole castle thing. So my next thing I want to do is just put some crowns and things around again. I need to make sure it's stuck down. I then want to put some stencils like the big crown in the middle here. I think it'll look really cute, but I'm gonna take the drawers out to do that. Just. So I've done my stencils. I've got two little crowns at the top, star and a big castle. And then I've got two crowns on either side of the small drawers. And then all the way down, I've got two, four big crowns in there and then pink feet. And I'm so happy with it. It's so cute. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. So I've just, it's absolutely complete behind me. I love it. So all I need to do now is make sure that it dries nicely. It shouldn't take very long, I reckon about an hour. Rust-Oleum 
finishing wax on it's clear um, I don't want to give it that sort of distressed look today I don't want to do that I just want it to look as it does and then after that what I'm going to do is then put the wax on just to protect it and then I'll show you what it looks in the bedroom like so yeah it's really cute I love stencils the Rust-Oleum stencils have been absolutely amazing as well um, and I actually love it I'm a really big lover of Farron Ball paint um, and I don't really use chalk paint a lot but I really really love the chalk paint obviously Farron Ball will always be my favorite but that's because I started off with Farron Ball and it is such good paint and um, the quality of it is amazing but chalk paint is really really good <laughs> enjoyed watching me do up my door test of drawers and I really hope that you enjoyed the stencil cover that I've done on them it's the first time I've properly used stencils on something big on our furniture I really like the Rust-Oleum paint I really rate it it's really nice chalky finish and I think it's just made the room look absolutely beautiful. I hope that you like it and I hope it helps you give you ideas of something easy and quick that you can do with your children's rooms or your rooms and things that you can do to just make it a totally different room and give it a new lease of life because you don't need to chuck away your furniture and go and buy expensive because that new would have been extortionate. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications every time I do a video, especially as I'm starting to do up my daughter's bedroom. So it just gives you opportunity to see what I'm up to and give us a big thumbs up. I hope you like my channel and I'll see you soon.